And there it is. It says hack Xbox. So that is exactly what you want to see. Hey, what is up, everybody? We finally got an Xbox 360 soft mod that we can use that will allow us to get hypervisor access on an Xbox 360 that is not modded. So this is huge news in the scene here today. Now, let's just go ahead and look at the project that came out from Grim Doomer. And this project is called Xbox 360 Add Update. And it does state over here that this is a software-only hypervisor exploit for the Xbox 360. So it does state that Bad Update is a non-persistent software-only hypervisor exploit for the Xbox 360 that works on the latest 17559 software version and that this repository contains the exploit files that can be used on the Xbox 360 console to run unsigned code. Now, there is one thing that you do need and that is you will need a copy of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. So this is what it looks like and it does need to be an NTSC version. So if you do have a copy of this, then you are ready to go right now. Now back over in the project, it does state that this exploit is not persistent. Basically, you will need to run this each and every time you do want to gain access to the system. Now there are some instructions in here, but don't worry, I will walk you through all of those in just a second. The very first thing that you will need to do is to come over here to releases and then go to this file right here and just click on it and download it to your local hard disk. Now you will also need a tool that can format USB drives into FAT32. The tool that I use is just this one right here. So it is for Windows, so just download that and you'll be able to format a USB drive in FAT32. And then the very last thing that I would recommend getting is update 17559 and you can just grab it from this location right here because you might need to update your Xbox 360 to the latest dash. But don't worry, I'll walk you through that. So before we do anything, let's just go ahead and get all of these files downloaded and let's jump over and prep our Xbox 360. Okay, so I already have a completely stock Xbox 360 here. As you can see, it has not been signed in or anything like that. And if we go over here to settings and then system here, I have a 228 gig hard drive that has absolutely nothing in it. Now, I do recommend going ahead and factory resetting your Xbox 360, if at all possible. And you can easily do that by coming in here to system and then going to console settings and then scrolling down here to the end and going to system info and then jotting down that serial number right up there at the top. And then once you do that, it's pretty easy. Just go over here to storage and then you hit Y on the device options and then go to format and you can format your system from there. It will ask you to input that serial number and then you will be good to go. Now, the very first thing you will want to do is to see what version of the kernel that you're currently running. And really the best way to kind of see that is from this screen right here. And we can see that this is 2.016756, which does not match the version number, which is version 17559 which is required to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can download the files to upgrade your Xbox to the version that will work with this American Wasteland game. So let me go ahead and do that. Now, once you download the zip file that I have linked into the comments, you will see that there is a system update folder. And the very first thing that you are going to want to do is to use a tool like FAT32 Format here you can see that I formatted my ELF drive as FAT32. And so I'll leave a link for this also in the description, but you basically just press start on this and you'll have a formatted USB drive. And then from there, just go ahead and select this and drag it on top of your USB drive and it will look just like this. 
Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and let's insert this into our Xbox 360. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that inserted into my Xbox 360. And it does state that there is an update and to apply it, we will need to restart our console. So it says, do you want to restart now? I'm just going to go ahead and select yes on that. And we will also go ahead and select yes on that one as well. So we'll now just let it go ahead and do its thing. And we'll come back once it's finished. Okay, and it looks like it is done here. And let's go all the way over here to settings and then system. And we'll go to console settings here. And then we're just going to scroll down to system information here. And well, we can see it right there. We are now on 2.0.17559. Excellent. So now we are getting ready to run the exploit. Okay, so over on your computer, go ahead and insert another USB drive. And again, we're going to format that as FAT32. Then from the downloads, you will see that there was the Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. This came from the GitHub. And what you're going to want to do is to copy all of these files over to the root of your USB drive. Once you do that, you will want to go ahead and insert that into your Xbox 360. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you formatted your Xbox 360, this would be a good time to go ahead and create a profile. I just created a profile that had the default player one, but you are going to need a profile in order to load the save game. So go ahead and create a profile and then come right back. Okay, and so with your USB drive in your Xbox 360 and inserting your American Wasteland disk, we can go ahead now and we can press X to start the game here. And so it takes just a moment or two for the game to load. You will start to see your USB drive start to flash a little bit here, or at least that what it looks like over here on my end. And then once we get into the game, we're going to need to run a very specific set of instructions in order to get this exploit to run. So from the main screen here, go over to high score, and we're going to select no on this very first screen. So this says load last game progress save, select no on that. We do need to select a skater, so I'm just going to select the default skater here. And from here, we need to run the play level. Now that we ran the play level, we need to go all the way to the very end here, and we need to go to the created park. Then from the created park, we're going to go to load park, and we are going to select yes on this. Very important that you follow all these instructions exactly. So select yes on this, and from here, we're going to select my USB drive and press the A button. And there it is. It says hack Xbox. So that is exactly what you want to see. And so from here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to press A on our controller here. And if we give it just a moment, we will see a load is successful and press OK. So we're going to press OK there. And then for the level select right here, it does say hack Xbox. Yours should look exactly like this. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select Play Park. And this is pretty much what you're going to see on your Xbox 360 for probably the next 20, 25 minutes. And what you will notice is, is that over on your Xbox 360, there is these ring lights that typically show up once you select a controller. And what you'll find is, is that as it progresses through each of the stages, it will go ahead and light up another lot on your Xbox 360 console. And at this point, it is a bit of a waiting game, so just go ahead and make a coffee or something and come back in about 25 minutes. Now, here is what happens once it's successful. Okay, and there you go. You'll start to see this animation as well as there is some sounds. So that is so very cool. And just a few parting words before I leave you here today. You can replace the executable 
in the bad update payload folder and just give it a name of default.xex so you can run other homebrew if you would like to. Now there is also this LED patterns and meanings section which goes through each and every one of those stages so you can look at this and determine what stage the exploit is currently at. Anyways, if you are new to the channel here, my name is Michael and I do a ton of different exploits, especially regarding the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. So I would absolutely love to have you stick around, become a subscriber and watch my content. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.